I'm Viva Dweeby, and this is Please Charge of Work and Roll. During quarantine, I learned how to make these demos on GarageBand. I don't have a mic. I mean, I could get a mic, but I can't be asked to get a mic. <laughs> and I used my, like, Apple headphones, and I used Kyle, the drummer guy from GarageBand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> GarageBand is free, I think, and you it can... Is. You don't need fancy production to make an amazing song. I'm very glad that you told me that because <laughs> your music is, I, I love your music. I think it sounds amazing. And like, I i always have this idea in my head that nobody's going to want to hear it if it's not the greatest thing I've ever made and it's not perfectly done. So like to know that like you created something super raw with just your voice and your guitar and it's like your best song makes me feel so much more comfortable <laughs> with just posting some shitty, sorry, video um, with my guitar. So yeah, thank you. I'm a guitar player myself and I just... Like, I always have these tunes in my head, but I can never, like, come up with a lyric. I want to use songwriting as a way in order to, like, express myself personally. Like, as a way of to be productive and for just dealing with life. If you want to, like, express yourself in that way, I, what I find really helpful is I used to write in a journal loads about my feelings. And then when I, when I wrote a song, I could just, like, transfer those feelings into making music. Something I like to do is I write kind of, like, when I'm having an emotional moment or I'm heated about something and like there are melodies in my head, I'll write all the lyrics to a melody and sing a couple of them so I remember the melody into my voice memos. And then I'll come back to it when I'm in a more like stable place or like I'm at home because sometimes I'll be like in the park and I'll like think of something and I'll just record a voice memo really quick. Another question someone asked and it's, um, I thought, how do I write about feelings without cringing at the thought of people in here? people hearing it and that's literally my life <laughs> if one person can relate to what i'm talking about it helped me kind of get off and get that thing off my chest and once my album comes out there's going to be a few people messaging me and saying this song is about me isn't it and i'm like Argh. but you know it's fun and that's what music is about what do you find joy i don't know when i know something's good i just like you have to back it like you you need to be your biggest fan like i don't even the concept of cringing i've like had to like i think being cringe is a very like it's something you can overcome you need to just just like stand up on both your feet and just accept that you think this is good so it doesn't it doesn't actually matter what anyone thinks if you back it, you're the most important person in this situation. I get like really bad writer's block. Like I feel like I, I'm repeating the same melodies over and over or that I will sing like the same kinds of lyrics. I have the same problem with the whole writer's block thing. I'm like an advocate of saying that you, have, you just have to accept and you have to live in your writer's block to understand and to want to even to want to make the song. For knocking writer's block, the only thing I can do is just like uh, try and be social or work on other stuff or take time away from music. And if I focus on the writer's block too much, it just becomes like an even worse writer's block. When it comes to finding new like lyrics and melodies when you feel like you've been repeating yourself what I like to do is listen to like a really wide variety of music and listen to a lot of old music um so that I constantly have new influences like and then down the line I'll realize like oh that kind of inspired like this one like hook in a song or like in our song Allen Street that's coming out in the next few months um I was listening to it for the first time in a while a few days ago with some friends and they were like, this sounds like that Dinosaur Jr. song you really like. And I was like, oh yeah, it does kind of sound like that. So whenever I write something, I like lose interest or like lose cr my creative flow. And then I just like scratch the idea like right away and I just give up on it. So how do you deal with that? That's literally, I have the same problem. I like always start writing a song and then I'm like, kind of go off it, try to start writing again. I'm just like, I know what, I hate it. I hate my voice, I hate everything, I hate my life. And that is a completely normal thing to experience. You have to ask yourself as well, where is this pressure coming from and what am I scared of? If you're scared of writing a shit song, then you might as well stop now. <laughs> because actually, 
we write shit songs all the time. Shit songs are so important in making great songs. All musicians have written shit songs. They probably write more shit songs than great songs. To write good songs, you need to go through all that shit, all the shit stuff to make something incredible.